if that's the path that the Tory government is offering to Scotland, out of not just the EU but the single market, with workers' rights and, and all of those protections on the line, fundamental changes to the type of country that we're going to be, then I don't think it's right that that should happen without the Scottish people having the ability to choose whether that's what they want or whether they want to choose a different option, an independent future. Does it make a second independence referendum all but inevitable? Uh, well, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I think that is very likely the case because what I've heard today from uh, the Prime Minister is an inability to engage in discussions that uh, further compromise. Now, I will continue to act in an orderly and reasonable fashion. Uh, I said that I would exhaust all options and that's what I will do. But we're going to have to see some give from the UK government.